New laws are destroying the lives of women. So right now, there's a lot of transformation occurring around us. These new laws are coming out, and you're seeing what they are doing. For one, states are passing paternity laws. And what these laws are doing are that if they are making it a crime if a woman willfully puts the wrong father's name on a birth certificate, and they can now end up in prison and prosecuted for these actions. It's now becoming a misdemeanor to do this, and it can be upgraded to a felony if it was done maliciously or done multiple times, which can result in multiple years of prison time. It's getting crazy out there. In Florida, women have lost lifetime alimony, and they've said that this is a this is an end of life sentence for them, where they because they will no longer be able to survive without this lifetime alimony. Things are going downhill. We see what happened with Roe versus Way roughly a year or so ago, where they lost that, and it's been battle after battle. Right now, Congress is moving rapidly to enact a new policy, a new bill, which will force women to serve in the military, serve for, in a draft. And they will now have automatic registration. So women will automatically be registered for the draft. To make matters worse, there's a lot of women who think, well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm 28, I'm 29, I'm 27, so it doesn't affect me because I was there, I never signed up because this is going to be for women between the ages of 18 and 26. They'll automatically be signed up for the draft. Guess what? Just because they'll automatically be signed up for the draft, a lot of these women who are now doctors, nurses, engineers, they can be drafted legally already. And especially with this new provision in there, all of these women will end up getting drafted. When WW3 hits and they need nurses and lots of nurses, like 90% of the nursing field, over 90% of nursing is women. All right? It's, because it's made up of women. They are the super majority. So all of those women are going to war. Most women in Western society today, most doctors in Western society today are women. They make up all the, the majority of all doctors and all medical school graduates. And they're increasing in, this, in, in, in specialties like surgery. Where do you think these women are going? They're going to war. You have a lot more women now entering into fields such as engineering. Where do you think these, because they have specialty, specialized skills. Where do you think they're going? Women who are in administration, who have, these, who have these advanced degrees. More women have advanced degrees than men today. Where do you think these women are going? They're going to war. Because men have been dropping out of the college system for years. And most Gen Zers, 77% of Gen Zers, are not fit to serve. They were found unfit to serve by the U.S. military because they are either mentally, they are either um, too mentally ill, mentally incompetent, physically unfit, so obesity, or as a result of substance abuse, 77%. So they don't have, they don't even have enough Gen Z males. And then to make matters worse, every year, 100,000 new Gen Z, you know, every year, 100,000 men, Gen Zers, who turn 18 are not signing up for the draft. They're avoiding the draft, signing up for the draft. So now it's going to be automatic registration for just for both men and women. And a lot, and you know, these, these, these Gen Zers, they're just sleeping and farting sleeping and farting. So, you know, they're going to be going for a lot of millennial women too and Gen X women who have these advanced degrees and specialized skills. And women don't understand that the government just comes and picks you up. The government just comes and picks you up. You see, Gen Zers will call will call their bluff. You know, for example, like, you know, like, oh, the government's coming to get a, get a Gen Zer. Gen Zers just get sleeping and farting. And what's, you know, what's the government going to do? Confiscate, you know, you know, turn their bank accounts off. Gen Z are a bunch of brokies. They're a bunch of brokies. They'd laugh at the entire thing, all right? They're a bunch of scumbags living at home. They would laugh, all right? They would laugh after they woke up, all right? Woke up after a nice long sleep and some really loud farting. Very, very loud farting. So the real ones they're coming for are Gen Xers, Gen Xers and millennial women.
All right. They're going to they're going to go and pick these women up at their jobs and let them know, listen, you're going to have to serve your country. And that's how it's going to be. They're going to experience what it's like to be a man. These laws are not these laws are no joke. Goodbye, lifetime alimony. You know, good pro, you know, it's now it's pro, you know, pro life, pro choice. Now it's basically it is it, it depends on where you go. Depends on where you go and who you know. And because of the things that are happening, all of the spending that's happening from our current presidential administration, you know, they don't have money to help people anymore. A lot of these, a lot of the things that, you know, that help that women programs women live off, they're getting cut. They're getting cut. And the simp economy is moving overseas. The simp economy is 100% moving overseas. That's why you have all of these women out here like, oh, I would love if a man would just take me on a free date and we could just talk about aliens. They say the reason why they're saying this, these women are not in the walls. The reason why they're saying this is because men have walked away and a man isn't taking these women on these dates anymore. All right. Men are chilling at home, relaxing, enjoying their lives, living their best lives. They're not going to spend their money on these brokies anymore. And now these women are basically trying to settle for anything, all right? They're like, oh, because they, they, listen to me, men are the gate, women may be the gatekeepers of physical intimacy, but men are the gatekeepers of the relationship. And that's something that a lot of people don't seem to understand. No man, no relationship. That's, that's, that's just how it is. So these women aren't getting, these women aren't going on dates anymore. They're not going on dates anymore. They're not, you know, these men are these men are staying at home and sleeping and, and relaxing and eating well, living well, and spending their money on themselves. They're not wasting their money on women anymore. They're not doing it anymore. They're done with that. They're done with that lifestyle. All right. And the simp economy is moving overseas. The Asian women are now fighting with you're starting to we're starting to see a bit of infighting from the Asian women right now. I'm starting to see a bit of infighting where the Asian women are now starting to like run their mouths about each other because they want these men. They want these men. They want these men from in Western society. And they're starting to say things like, you know, these women, they don't really like you in these other countries. We like you. We like you. We want you. We're going to treat you good. We're going to treat you right. But the Asian women over there, they don't really like you like that. Their parents will really like you. You, you need, go where you're appreciated. Go where you are celebrated. This is what these guys, these women... This is this is what the Asian women are doing now. Now they're coming at now they're clawing for each other because they're like, no, we're taking these men. These men are coming here. All right. And now they this is this just shows you why this is you have to be careful with women. You have to because women are not what it does. Women, there's like women don't like each other. Women do not like each other. And now they're fighting for men. Now they're fighting for men. All right. And they will say the word, the nastiest things are the are the slickest and slyest things to, to prevent men from going other places because they want these men. I told you it was going to be a major a global competition for Western men. And women in Western society would no longer have access to these men. And they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. They created this problem for themselves. There's no one else to blame. And they're going to have to live with this reality now. They're going to have to live with what they've done. And it's going to be hard, too hard for many of them to accept it. That, hey, I did this to myself. I created this reality for myself. Now I'm going to be alone. No one wants to be in a relationship with me. I'm not going to be able to eat tonight. Because I don't have money for food. If there's one thing that women are not good at, it is managing money. Women cannot live below their means. They cannot go backwards. Chris Rock said this before. Women cannot go backwards. They can't do it. After they've become accustomed to living a certain way, they will spend, spend, spend until they don't have it anymore and, and look for men to subsidize their living. And then they will end up homeless and destitute while believing that even as they are homeless and destitute, they still deserve the best of the best men out there. All right. They'll be in the streets literally saying they deserve millionaires when they're brokies. Like it's like, Keisha, you don't have a roof over your head. 
Susan, you know, you just took you, you know, you you're using the bathroom at the side of the road because you don't, there's nowhere else for you to go, Susan. There's nowhere else for you to go. You know? Like you slept on concrete last night, Susan. And you're saying that you deserve millionaires, Susan. Susan, you haven't showered in a week and a half. All right? Your clothing is dirty. Your clothing is dirty. You've only been eating like once every couple of days, Susan. Your last meal was lentil soup. And you're out here saying that you deserve a million, that you deserve a millionaire and you're not gonna settle. Susan, not even little, little Poncho won't even do, won't even glance your way. Okay? Little Poncho won't even glance your way. You can't get no little Poncho. I mean, he's he's the man that you that y'all love. He's where's little Poncho for you? He's he's not even he wouldn't even glance in your direction, Susan. You're in the streets, Susan. You're in the streets. All right. That's the reality of it. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content and you won't even morph this content. Consider checking out the Men Walking Away channel where I release daily videos. There's a link to a description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the content. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this? New laws are destroying the lives of women. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA Men Walking Away. And cheers.